making sure those who need help get it. That's the goal of a group of bills seeking to make Pennsylvania's welfare system more fair. Let's spend five minutes on the subject with State Representative Marty Causer. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, the state welfare system, um, is there fraud in the system? Why do we need to reform the system? There absolutely is, and, and we've heard testimony from a number of uh, people who actually work in the department who say that there's waste, fraud, and abuse in the department, and so that's a significant policy initiative that we're pushing forward with really reforming the welfare system in Pennsylvania and, and making some real significant changes because, you know, we, we want to get rid of whatever waste, fraud, and abuse that we can because of the, the tough, uh, well, for a number of reasons, but because of the tough budgetary situation that we're in. and, and quite honestly, you know, to make sure once we get rid of the waste, fraud, and abuse that uh, the people that truly need help get it. Mm -hmm. And besides the, the folks that have worked in the system and have testified about problems they've seen, uh, the Auditor General, Jack Wagner, also did some audits that showed some things as well. Uh, what did he find? He found significant uh, areas that need that need to be reformed and, and significant savings that can be found in that particular department. So really a lot of what we're doing with our legislative agenda is centers around the Auditor General's report and, as I said, direct testimony from people who, who uh, formerly worked inside the department. So uh, we really have some good data that we're using to move forward with the legislative package that we're working on. And certainly you already addressed this, but it's not about going after people who are deserving of uh, assistance from the state. It's about um, punishing those that are taking advantage. You want to expand on that's, that? That's correct. Some people have accused us of trying to go after poor people or, or go after um, benefits that, that are benefiting people that, that need help. We just want to get rid of the waste and abuse in the system. And then, as I said before, helping people that really do need help. It's, it's all about a hand up and not a hand out. So uh, if, we can, if we can get rid of the waste, fraud, and abuse in the system, then there'll be benefits there to help people who truly need it. And certainly then a, a side benefit is for the taxpayers as well. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what uh, certainly what I keep on my mind all the time. I mean, these are public dollars. And, and they should be going to people that truly need it. And uh, it, it's a top priority to get rid of the, the waste and fraud and abuse. And we can all think of examples in this state that we've seen uh, where there's been abuse of the system. So reforming the welfare system is a top priority. And uh, in light of that, there, are, there is a package of bills entitled Welfare, F-A-I-R, uh, uh, talk about some of those bills and some of the ideas uh, within them. Well, we have a number of legislative initiatives. I think there are eight bills altogether, from uh, requiring uh, convicted felons who are who are uh, getting welfare benefits to to uh, submit to drug testing, uh, photo identification on welfare. Uh, access benefits cards to, to try to eliminate waste and abuse in that system, um, requiring the department to, uh, to adequately check uh, uh, databases to make sure people aren't getting benefits that they shouldn't be. And there's, there's actually 19 databases that they can check and cross-check to make sure that someone's not getting benefits that, that shouldn't be getting them. And, and we found that the department wasn't always using that system, so you know, requiring them to do that. And, and, and the list goes on and on. We've got a number of things that we're working on really to, to eliminate waste, fraud, and abuse. Switching gears, uh, there was an issue voted on on the floor called the Castle Doctrine, and that was passed onto the Senate. Can you talk about what the Castle Doctrine is? Well, this is a very important piece of legislation that deals with uh, uh, self-protection and, and protecting one's one's property and one's one's rights. And uh, uh, we we actually passed the legislation last session. Uh, the Senate also passed it, and it went to the governor's desk, and Governor Rendell vetoed the legislation. Uh, basically, what it what is under current law right now is you have a duty to retreat, even if someone is is threatening to do you harm. You have to first show the court that you've tried to retreat, and that doesn't make sense. So we've really tried to uh, take away that, so that if someone is actually threatening threatening you, you don't have to retreat. So uh, I think this is something that's very important. I was glad to support it, and and hopefully we can get the Senate to to pass it soon, so that we can get Governor Corbett to sign it. Sounds good. Thank you for your time. Thank you. If you have comments or questions about any of these topics we discussed today, Representative Causer's contact information will be on the screen in just a few seconds. I'm Laurie Bull. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Marty Causer.